Hi, this is Bo Astro Props Productions. This is in response to somebody last night asked about he just got a DP9 and is new to Digital Performer and couldn't find out how to route information from his USB uh, MIDI keyboard and get a virtual instrument to play in Digital Performer. So I just wanted to show you uh, how it's done. So in DP, the first thing I'll do is go to the studio menu and open Bundles. Bundles is the virtual patch bay in DP where you route uh, your inputs and your outputs. First, you have a tab for inputs and this for this is for your hardware interfaces, the output from DP to your hardware interfaces, your buses, and the instruments, and here MIDI devices. Now I don't have a USB keyboard, I have two Motu MIDI timepiece AVs and some other devices. Some are uh, USB, you can see there's a USB MIDI device here, but um, most of my stuff is connected through a MIDI timepiece. So this is where it comes in, and these are my external devices. So I have an 88 key keyboard I have attached to port one of my MIDI time page. So now I have my routing. So you would see your keyboard should automatically show up here if it's a class compliant keyboard or you might have to install a driver if it's not class compliant. So let's close this. Then we'll open up here on the side. We'll open up. It's already set to the MIDI monitor. So we'll open that and it might be closed, but you should see your device showing up here some, somewhere with its name. Now, I know I had this keyboard attached to MIDI timepiece AV number two, so let's open this one up and you can see my 88 keys there. And let me go over here, um, and it was attached to port number one, so let's just focus on this and let me uh, just press the keyboard over here. So you see I get some MIDI data coming into DP here. So now I know my routing is okay. I get my MIDI data from my keyboard into DP. So it's all good. I can go ahead and just click that. I don't need it again. Now the difference in this case, the user was coming from Logic, uh, new to DP. One thing that can confuse people a little bit, I believe, is in DP you always will need two tracks. You need a MIDI track and you need an instrument track. Now Motu has made it easy for us to set it up. Uh, on project add track, I have this called instrument with options. This is the one I want to use because with instrument with options, you can see here I can add an instrument track which is assigned to. Here I can select I don't have contact on this computer, so contact doesn't show up here, but let's try UVI Falcon in the stereo mode. And then you can add a number of MIDI tracks for each instrument. Now this is very cool that you can actually have multiple MIDI tracks playing the same instrument. You can have your right hand on one MIDI track and you can have your bass going on on, a, on another MIDI track if that's what you want. But this is just one of the things that helps making DP extremely flexible. And you can even set it up so it adds new tracks to a new folder so they're all together. So if you have multiple tracks, so it's easy for you to open tracks and close tracks if you don't want to see them all. So I'll just leave it, leave it alone. I just want to make one track for instrument, which goes to Falcon, and one MIDI track. So I click OK. So it opens up Falcon, so here's Falcon, so here I can, let's just add an instrument. And you can see I have now gotten two tracks. If you look in the sequence, I got a MIDI track and I got the Falcon track. If we go to the mixing board, I have the two channels, the two tracks, the MIDI track and the Falcon track. Now what you do here in the mixer, and you see the same thing in the sequence, you see like you have on a virtual track, a more virtual instrument track and an audio track, you have the output, the lower, 
where the, the sound will come out. In this case, it'll go to output stream one, two on the Apollo in this case. But for the MIDI track, the output you assign to the MIDI instrument you want to play. In this case, I want Falcon, but I could route it back to my hardware, my multimedia interface, and have my JP8080 play or an emulator or whatever external uh, MIDI instrument I might have. In this case, I'm sending it to the Falcon track. So now I'm ready to record. <laughs> Okay, so we recorded something, let's play it back. Mm -hmm. 